I want to compare the payoff for buying a stock or long a stock versus buying a call option or long a call option. What a call option does is it allows you to purchase shares of the stock at a specific price, we call that the exercise or the strike price, during a specific time period. Now, let's look at what the payoff picture for the stock looks like. All right, let me change the color here and we'll see what we have. All right, if you buy a stock, your payoff picture looks something like this, where right here we're talking about the price that you paid for the stock. So let's just say that the stock cost a hundred dollars. So we'll put the hundred in here. You paid a hundred bucks for the stock. And the most you can lose if you paid cash for the stock is one hundred. So you could lose a hundred bucks, that is you could buy the stock for a hundred a share and the price could go to zero. I've got an arrow up here because there's no limit on what the price of the stock could become. The price of the stock could be could go to two hundred a share, five hundred dollars a share. If you're familiar with Berkshire Hathaway stock, that's the company that billionaire Warren Buffett runs, the stock has sold for well over a hundred thousand dollars. Okay, I think its peak was somewhere in the hundred and fifty thousand dollar range. So you know, the stock can go to anything. All right. When you buy a call option, a call option gives you the right, but not the obligation, to buy the stock at this exercise price. So let's say that you choose to buy the stock, or buy the option, with an exercise price of 100. What's the payoff picture going to look like? Well you're going to start a certain amount in the hole and we're going to call that the premium. You're paying for the privilege of being able to buy shares of stock um, at $100 regardless of what its price is. If the price is below $100, you don't have to use this. Okay? Owning a call option gives you the right but not the obligation. So if it's not useful, throw it away. One of the best examples I've seen of a call option, of buying a call option, or owning a call option, is a case of a rain check in a store. You go in, you want to buy that stereo, it's a thousand dollar stereo, it's on sale, it's selling for five hundred dollars. They don't have any in stock. So what does the store do? The store gives you a piece of paper that says, look, when they come in next Tuesday, you can come back, give us the piece of paper, we'll give you that stereo at, two, at five hundred dollars, at the sale price. Well, you're driving home and you stop in at another store. And what happens? Gee, they have that stereo in stock. And in fact, it's not selling for 500, it's selling for 400. So what do you do with your rain check? Just throw it away. Okay, you don't have to use it. And that's the concept here. So if the price is below 100, there's no reason to buy the stock for 100. You can just go into the marketplace and buy it. So the call option will have no value. It'll look like this. It'll be flat up until we get to that exercise price of 100. And this distance here, this vertical distance, will be what you paid for the option, Okay, the premium of the option. Once the price goes above the option, for every dollar it goes above the, option, uh, the exercise price, you make a dollar. And so what's going to happen is, is that the curve is going to kink, or it's going to look like a hockey stick. Let me just draw this. I'll make it a little longer so my arrows don't run into each other. And the two of these should be parallel. Let right, me put an arrow here because, again, the stock price could go to anything. This distance here is the premium. Okay, it's what you paid for the right to be able to buy the stock at 100 regardless of what its price is. So let's put a number in. Okay, let's say you paid three dollars per share for the right to be able to buy this stock at a hundred a share. Well, what's your break-even point going to be? Your break-even point is going to be right here where you cross this line. This is the break-even. 
and how much does the stock price have to rise above 100 in order for you to break even? Well, you paid $3 for the premium. For every dollar it goes above 100, you make a dollar. So break even in this case is 103. If we look at the profit picture, let's consider the case where we have uh, the stock price is 110. Let's see what your, what your profit will be. Well, if we were to draw up to these two lines, there. <clears throat> and if we were to draw across, again, this difference, if you bought the stock at 100 and it went to 110, your profit would be 10. That's the red line. If it's the case that you happen to buy the call option instead, your profit would be what? Your profit would be, you'd buy it at 100, you'd sell it for 110, so you'd make $10, minus the $3 premium, so you'd make $7. So the nice thing about a call option is it limits your downside. The worst that can happen in this case is you lose $3 a share. And if the price goes up, you can make an unlimited amount of money. The downside is, is that you pay for that $3 premium. You pay that $3 privilege. There's a couple of other downsides to buying a call option versus buying the stock. If you, own, if you own the stock, you can hang on to it for as long as you want. In the case of a call option, the option will expire, and if you want to maintain this position, you'll have to buy another one. And if it expires, you'll have to buy another one, and another one, and another one. And it can be very expensive because most of the time, stocks don't shoot up a lot in price. So during a three-month or six-month period, most options expire worthless, and what happens is you wind up losing the $3. One of the nice things about options is that you can combine them in different ways to hedge risk or to create different kinds of payoff strategies um, if you know what you're doing. So options are quite valuable but they can be quite costly too if you don't know what you're doing. You can wind up paying three dollars, three dollars, three dollars and never exercising the option in which case you just lose that premium. <clears throat>